All right, what we're doing today is we're working on a little ton and a half system. A little rain, ton and a half. Uh, right now it's about 72 degrees out here. And come over in the afternoon and your pressures will shoot up to like 88 pounds and back down to 50. And it does it. 88, back down to 50. And high side pressure goes up to about 260, 270 and drops down to 170. So today, what I'm gonna do, uh, it's either one or two things wrong with it. At first I thought it was airflow. <clears throat> when we get up in the attic, I'll show you. They took a 70,000 furnace um, with a minimum blower speed of uh, 730 CSM. When I first got here a few days ago, the blower speed was set at like uh, 1300 CSM. And I was really having issues with it then. I'm still having issues with it. The complaint is at night and during the day, or at night and in the morning, it cools okay. But in the day when it gets a load on it, it, it doesn't cool at all. Hardly ever. Um, it, you know, it drops down to about 75 degrees, but there's no load because that's the main floor unit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recover all the freons. And I'm going to go upstairs and check the piston and make sure they put the right piston in it from install because uh, uh, it is a 17 inch wide coil so you know it's a bit a bit wide for uh, for what we need. And this unit here, the little two and a half, I've got attached to a 40,000 furnace. You know it's a 14 inch wide furnace of coil so when you first go up in the attic and look it looks like the furnace and coil that's attached to this one should belong to that one. I'm going to start getting the Freon recovered in this one, and then once I get that done, run up to the attic and see if it's got the right size piston in it. Alright, I've dug through my piston box and found a number 49 piston. So we're going to go upstairs and see if the piston upstairs is correct. And if not, we'll put this one in and pull a good vacuum and recharge it and see if that doesn't work. And if it doesn't, then they got other issues. Alright, so we're up in the attic now, and as you see, this one here is a ton and a half. That one over there is the main floor. It says it's a two ton coil, but like I said, we're going to pull the piston out, check it, and see. Alright, so we got the new piston in it, and uh, there's the old one right there. It's a number 54, I believe. Let me look at it. Um, yeah, it's a number 54 piston, so it's for the two-ton unit. So we'll see what the 49 does and if it makes a difference. But since I recovered all the Freon and going to start anew, it's going to be kind of hard to tell whether it was non-condensables or if it was uh, the piston itself. But either way, hopefully we get it fixed. Alright, so with my vacuum being pulled down there, um, we're ready to put Freon in this thing. It calls for 46 ounces, so I'm going to go ahead and put 48 in, and then go in there, start it up, and adjust the charge. And I hope that when we're done, the problem goes away. And I'm going to, since I'm charging with liquid, I'm going to open my liquid side on my gauges there and see if we can't put four pounds of 
refrigerant in it and go from there. While I'm waiting for the for it to weigh in, I'm gonna go up here, turn the disconnect off, and then go ahead and uh, disconnect my cheater cord. And then put that stuff away. All right, so all we're going to get out of it uh, by charging it with liquid is two pounds, two ounces, almost three ounces. So I'm going to turn the drum over, turn the disconnect on, and start putting Freon in it. If y'all can see me do the dance behind the camera, you'd laugh. But that there is where I want to be. No more up and down pressures. It's maintaining a constant pressure got about 11 degree uh, superheat the reason we're up a little high on the pressure is because I do have an extra 100 CFM uh, on the blower but that's all I can get out of it so uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up and call it done I'm a happy man right now owners are gonna be happy too everybody wins in this case and look my head pressure went up too so there you go. I'll never know if it was non-condensables or if it was just a piston. But at this point, I don't care. Uh, as long as it got fixed, that's all I care about.